Tiranda. Elune. For Elune. Okay, smart. We cannot keep any expensive card. Even I would like to, we just can't. Okay, Doomsayer is nice. It's a good starter against this smart. Hey Pidges, I am competing in a LAN this weekend. Conquest, what four decks would you recommend? If you know a good non-aggro lineup, I'd prefer that. Love you. We have to go already with the Doomsday here because next turn it won't work. Even a Warrex, he doesn't kill it. That's the worst thing that could happen. If we go with the one drop, he works. This uh, three drops become annoying and charges come annoying. We just don't want him to play another minion here. Mine, I will need getting the card right in here. Yeah, we have the cleric circle place two here now. He didn't add the Nazoth first mate turn one, so um, let me go to your question also, um, Exa Lakuti. Uh, we'll think about it after this game. Want to answer that question? Good. So. First, I want to beat this warrior with the deck. Yeah, because uh, conquest lineups are really well. I kind of go shortly already to it, but with conquest lineups, if you are not really thinking of aggro, I think the Reno decks are really strong at the moment. Reno Mage, Reno Warlock. Um, you can pu uh, put Priest in there. You can put Control Warrior in there. You can make quite good uh, control lineups that just beat the aggro. Let's not make the damage for him. I don't see the reason to make the damage for him. So yeah, we are having a lot of good combos and it's like, oh my god, he's trading, are you kidding me? Wow! Said he can't really punish him now. Yeah, we have to become active first on board. You don't really want to heal this. Yes, I can draw cards, but that makes his value a little too much. Yeah, there are not that many charge pirates besides the deckhand, so... As long as we are getting a reasonable pickup here, I think we are fine. Ah, that's annoying that he has a charge pirate even. Well, if we just get Aukanai, we win on board. Wow, going face here is not correct. Too much punishment in a full face play. Guess he really wants to get punished, huh? Well, there we go. Let's just punish then. I mean, he kind of asked for it. Priest place! Cold also buffed the health here from here. Maybe that was a little better. But yeah, you see there is a lot of extra combos. This for example, restoring a minion to full health. We can just restore a minion that we uh, traded a lot with that gained the extra health. Just heal to full health and that's really nice. <coughs> okay, so now we just need to... Heal as much as we can. Well, that's GG. And this is why I think the Phaser Shander is a great addition. We have so many heal buffs that we can buff minions to the maximum amount that we would like to. Um, that the only card we need is the Phaser Shander. Just to copy it, let him deal 11 damage into a freaking card. He's just crying. And there we go. Well, you also see that now you already get some uh, some knowledge of how you can make OTKs happen with this deck. But how about turn 6 having two 13-13s, huh? Four mana 13-13 with taunt. Four mana 13-13 with taunt, guys. I don't know why people play four mana 7-7s. Seven yeah, 100% win rate, guys. 100% win rate. Okay, this was the deck for today. I made a 100% win rate deck, uh, a new OTK priest. We haven't, no game has ever been lost with this deck. Great deck. All play it now. <laughs> Confirmed 100% win rate. So hope you like this. Deck. No, <laughs> we will continue, guys. <laughs> Was just kidding. Got you a little. Got you. <laughs>